Well, hello everyone, it's the Minnesota Cash Kitten, and I am back with you today with something extra special. What's extra special about it is that it will be an extra long video. Normally I do maybe three, four minute videos. This is probably going to go oh, eight minutes, I would guess, maybe a little bit longer. But I haven't been around for a while, so I thought I would do two of my favorite tickets right now. And we've got the $3 Minnesota Lottery Fruit Explosion. Mmm. I do like this type of ticket. I have ticket number 55. Top prize is 30 grand, and the overall winning odds are 1 in 3.66. Plus, I have the $3 Minnesota Lottery Campfire Crossword, and this is one of the newer tickets that have come out, and I really enjoy it. It's a fun game. I have ticket number 005, and the overall winning odds on this $3 ticket are 1 in 3.52. So since the odds are a little bit better, I think I will start with that one. So with the campfire crossword, it's uh, it's real cute. It's got these little marshmallows on the stick by the campfire as a bonus. And it has a tripling prize amount feature. So basically what you want to do is get at least three words by uncovering your letters up top. If you do, you win the prize and so forth. However, if it has one of those campfires in it, it will triple your prize plus... In addition to your eight, excuse me, 18 letters, you also get two bonus letters over here. So that gives you a total of 20 different letters to scratch on this puzzle. Plus, if those two bonus letters happen to match, let's see, you get two M's, you will win the bonus prize. And I have actually done that a few times off camera. So we're going to do this one on camera and see what happens. So let's get going here. I am going to... <clears throat> Scratch the bonus last, just as a little added extra. Alrighty, so we're looking for an N. N, N, N. And I think that's it. If not, I'll probably see them along the way. And if I don't do it that way, I always scan these tickets. Absolutely. All right. Looking for a U. Only two. Well... Okay, well, isn't that just wonderful? How many Ks do we have? Just the one? Methinks. Oh, we have one in the word yak. Alrighty. And O. Awesome. We have an O. We have several O's. I always like to get vowels. It's always so promising. Joking and onyx. All right, I think that's it for the O's. A T. All right. Another one. Ba, ba, ba. Wow. So far, a lot, not a lot of letters here. All right, we have an X. Well, if we get a Y, uh, we'll actually get a word. All right, the letter L. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Yeah, I wonder if we'll get a J. An S. It's not a J. And that makes me happy. S. All right, well, a Y and an E would be great. Tossing an R in there for good measure. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wee! <laughs> All right, we have the word else. Excellent. I'm going to scratch those triplers now because I have an attaching letter. Just my thing. All right, that's it for the E's. I see. <laughs> oh, why? Well, what do you know? We got it. Are those the only two? I think so, but we have the words onyx and else. We just need one more word. Look at this. We're already at four minutes, 16 seconds. I told you it'd go long. But isn't it fun? All right. D. We have a lot of letters left, so maybe, maybe we will get lucky. A J. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Now let's see it. an I, please, or maybe an A. That would work for me. An I would be great, though. I would be fabulous. All right, we got the V. Am I still in camera? Am I still in focus? Now let's give that just a little more light. There we go. Four minutes, 52 seconds. <laughs> oh, we get a Z. I don't think so. How about a H? 
an H. K and an M. Blah. Well, it's all down to these last two bonus letters. Let's see what they are. A P. P. Yep, an I would be really, really cool. I'd take an A, an I, an R. Any other ones that would complete words? I think that's about it. And finally, a W. Mer, mer. Well, we'll go ahead and scratch that now. Just for the sake of scratching, I don't think we've missed anything. And I think we just have the two words, else, onyx. No R's, right? Yep, all right, well, that one's a loser. But it really is a fun game, so... Highly recommended, and now we're going to move on to my even more favoritist of tickets. I like the fruit explosion. I like any of this kind of setup where you have your symbols and then your symbols to scratch here and complete lines and so forth. So we're going to just get right at it and see what happens. Got some grapes. So of course we're just looking for grapes. And you know, <clears throat> I do have to say a lot of the symbols are very similar. You know, strawberry looks like the apple which looks like the peach and you know yeah it can be really confusing and it's easy to miss or scratch too many all right that is a kiwi cherries ticket number 55 and a pineapple got a few of them not too many all right cantaloupe or muskmelon and on where you're from. A lemon. La la la. All right. And a coconut. We are halfway through the symbols. Mmm. Well, if we get a star fruit and an apple, we will have a win right there. But we have to get two things, so who knows? What do we have? Seven, six more symbols to scratch. Apple. Well, we're halfway there. If we get that star fruit, we will definitely have a winner. Come on, star fruit. I only got a little pint of blueberries instead. Okay, well, if we find a pear, that'll get us two wins. I would take that. Sure. We have a banana. All right, star fruit or a pear. Come on. Got the orange. Well, now we get an avocado star fruit or a pear. We will have a win. Two left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting the symbols. I don't know if we'll have a win. And it doesn't look like it just by the way the puzzle or the game usually plays out. All right. Well, we'll probably end up getting a fig or a peach and there's the peach as i anticipated making this one another loser but yet it is very fun to scratch so there you have it two of the newer three dollar puzzle tickets from the minnesota lottery losers all but fun to scratch so thank you all again for stopping by please press like and have yourself a fabulous day bye